Zyro has become one of the most comprehensive yet affordable website builders for small businesses and therefore I decided it's important to share this option with you guys if you're looking for a website builder that is dedicated to small businesses. Now Zyro is not just a website builder, it's an all-in-one dynamic small business toolbox that offers professional email services, domains and leading AI tools like a business name generator, AI heat map and even an AI blog post writer. I see Zyro as an all-in-one solution ideal for new small businesses ready to set up and create a strong presence online. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. I hope you're all having a productive day. Now today I'm gonna to share with you the setup process, AI tools and features of creating a small business website using Zyro. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive into Zyro, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and build a responsive and full feature website with Zyro for your small business. <music> Okay, so to launch into the Zyro website builder, the first thing that you want to do is navigate over to your browser and type in Zyro.com or feel free to click the link in our description below this video and that's going to take you to the Zyro homepage. Once you've arrived here, simply navigate up to pricing. This is what we want to look at first. And if we navigate down to Zyro's simple pricing options, you can see why Zyro is such an ideal option for small businesses. They have one of, if not the most affordable pricing options per month for a web design package. Typically for most companies, you're paying this or more for just web hosting. However, with Zyro for this extremely low price per month, you're getting a professional website as well as web hosting and access to dozens of AI tools. Not only this, but you also get a free custom domain for one year. You get free email for three months. If you currently do not have a business email already set up, you can set this up inside Zyro and you have 24 seven customer support when you need it. And the main difference between these two plans is with the business plan, you can sell products online, you can access the e-commerce features. Now let's quickly navigate back up to the top and then locate products. And as you can see down here, we can build a website with Zara. We can also engage in e-commerce activities. We can create an online store and add that to our website. We can set up a professional domain name, business emails, and we can also create a logo with the internal logo maker that Zara offers. And if we navigate over to tools, these are some of the AI tools that we can leverage to further grow our business online. And we'll talk more about these shortly. And now let's navigate over to website templates. This is where you can preview over 120 fully customizable website templates that you can choose from and then customize the content on those templates the way that you like. These are already pre-built professional website templates. We can navigate over here and search for templates or we can browse through the different categories offered over here. If we navigate down to some of these templates, you can simply hover over the template and you can start building or you can navigate down and preview each of these templates before deciding on the right template for you. Now templates are a great place to start, especially for small businesses, those that don't have very much technical experience when it comes to designing and building websites. So what I'm gonna do is navigate back up to categories and I'm gonna navigate over to marketing. And then we can navigate through these different templates. Now I like the look of this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on preview. And what you wanna do is take the time to preview some of these templates, then navigate through each of the different pages, make sure you like the template before you decide on choosing that pre-made professional template to customize the way that you like for your own website. Now, what you can also do is navigate up to the different devices and preview the responsiveness of these templates across different devices. So I like the look of this website. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this website to start building my website inside of Zyro. To do that, simply navigate over to Start Building and we can start creating our website for free. However, when you're ready to launch your website, that's when you need to select a plan. Now to get started, simply add your email address and password or select from these options over on the right hand side to quickly get started with Zyro. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my Google account. I'm gonna use this Google account 
And as you can see, as soon as you sign up, you'll be taken directly inside the pre-made template that you selected. And this is, again, a great place to start. You can create a website from scratch with Zaro, but it's recommended that you choose a responsive and pre-made professional template. Now, if you're familiar with website builders, the building interface inside Zyro is similar to Wix's drag and drop builder. For example, if we wanted to customize any of this content, all we would do is click on the content and then navigate up to edit text. And that's going to generate these formatting options up above. Now to replace this text, all I'm going to do is highlight the text and change this to my own header. And I'm happy with that. I can also drag out this text block if I like. And if I click out of this entire section and then click on this element again, I can drag and drop and place this element where I like. Now you can see Zyro uses this grid like drag and drop layout, which helps you with the alignment of your content. So I'm actually happy with that. Again, I can do the same with this contact button. I'm going to drag that up here. Now if I click edit button, that's going to generate this editing widget on the right hand side. I can go ahead and change the button text and then I can choose where this button links to. At the moment, it's sending people to the contact page. However, these are the other pages and potential places that I can send people to or allow an action to occur. For example, send people to a web address or file download. So on another page on our website, we could allow people to download a specific ebook or document with the click of a button. Then you can also navigate up to style and you have these basic style options. And then we have animation and you can choose if specific elements have animations as soon as the page loads. Now, in terms of editing the different elements on your website page, it is relatively limited inside Zyro. For example, with Wix, you get a lot more freedom in terms of customizations. Although in saying that the Zyro website builder is more than sufficient enough for small businesses and those getting started. And the great thing about Zyro's page editor is it's really hard to actually screw up your website pages. Again, if you're dragging any of these elements, you can easily see the grid layout which means it's very hard to screw up the alignment of your content blocks. Again, we can navigate down and we can click on each of these different elements and you can customize those elements. So take the time to go through your website pages. Uh, again, you can go ahead and change image, for example, replace the image. And again, you have these basic options to customize that particular image. So again, take the time to replace the content that has been added by default with this pre-made template and add your own content. Now, again, if we navigate up here and click on this element, I can also navigate up to AI Assist, and this is an AI tool that you can leverage. For example, I can navigate down here and you can use AI to generate content for your website. And this is ideal if you've already got content for your website. And what you can do is ask AI Assist to regenerate that content or add more information to that content. So for example, I'm going to add, write a compelling paragraph about why people should work with our marketing company for small businesses and then go ahead and click on generate. So this is a prompt. What you want to do is make sure you're adding a detailed prompt so that the AI can generate a detailed response. And as you can see, if we navigate down here, that response has been generated with AI. So what I would do is then take the time to go through this content that the AI assistant has generated and make sure it's relevant to my business. Okay, so what I'm going to do is click on edit text and remove this text here and then come down and highlight this and I'm going to make the text a bit larger. I'm going to add some spacing and I'm happy with that. Now I can navigate down here and there's a lot of space. So what I'm going to do is simply change the section height and bring that up here. Now you can also add additional sections. If I click on add section, I can create a blank section or I can choose from these different elements on the left hand side. I can add a blog, an online store if you want to sell products. And then down here we have these other sections about gallery, contact, footer, headlines, images and more down here. So for example, what I could do is click on video and that's going to generate these video templates for a section. I like the look of this template, so I'm going to click here. And that's going to add that section template. Again, you want to click on each of these elements and click on the edit and then make sure you add your own video. This could be from YouTube and then you can customize the animation settings as well as these text blocks over here. You want to add your own content. So again, you can customize each of the different elements, the sections. You can add your own sections to your website pages 
and more. Now, if we navigate over to the left hand side, we can click on add element and we can add additional elements to our website page to our website sections. If I go ahead and click on video, I can simply drag and drop that into the place I want it to be on my website page. So if I drag this video and place that here, I can resize the video. And let's say I wanted a video right over here, I can place that there. And then again, I would edit the video and add my own video. I'm gonna navigate back up to add element. Let's go ahead and add a button and I'm gonna drag that down here. Then I wanna make sure that it's center aligned with the text. And then all I would do is edit and customize the button. So as you can see, it's really easy to customize and create your website pages by simply adding sections and adding elements to your website pages. Now, the elements are relatively limited, but again, sufficient enough for small businesses. Then if we navigate up to pages and navigation, and this is where we can manage our website navigation. At the moment, we have home, projects, and contact in our main navigation. If we navigate up here, we have home, projects, and contact. Now we can customize those if we like. We can rearrange if we like. And if we navigate over here and click on settings, and then we can access the basic SEO settings. We can rename the page. We can come down and duplicate if we like the design, the overall theme of a page. And we want to quickly create a new page with the same theme. We can go ahead and do that here or you can choose to hide specific pages from the navigation. I'm happy with my navigation for now. I'm gonna come down, and these are the pages that are hidden from our navigation. And what you would wanna do is check out these two different pages and decide if you wanna keep these pages, you want to add them into your navigation, or just navigate down and add an additional page. So to add a page, simply go ahead and click Add Page. And similar to adding a section, you can go ahead and create a new page from scratch, or you can choose from these templates down here. I'm gonna go ahead and add a services page, and I like the look of this template over here, and you can customize the URL up here. I'm gonna delete that and keep it as our services page, and then come down and click on save. And as you can see, we now have four website pages in our website, and you can see that we have the home, projects, contact, and services, in our main navigation. Now I'm gonna drag this services and put that next to the home page. And I'm happy with that. That's also taken us to the services page. Now, if we navigate down further on the left hand side, we have website styles. This is where you can customize the global style of your website. So you can see the colors that are used. You can customize those, the overall text of your website. So if we click on say this text here, that's gonna change the overall typography of the website. But I'm happy with this initial text layout up here. We can select buttons and we can customize the way that our buttons display throughout our website. And then we also have animations and we can choose the overall animations applied to every element on our website. Then if we navigate down further, we have blog. And this is where you want to create a blog. Now, if you're interested in ranking higher for SEO, search engine optimization, so that people can easily discover your content online, then you want to create a blog. And to do that, all you need to do is go ahead and click on start a blog. And as you can see, that's gonna add the blog page to our primary menu. Now I'm gonna quickly navigate back over to our navigation and I'm going to drag blog and put that in between services and projects in the middle of our primary menu here, and then navigate back over to our blog. Now down here, you can simply go ahead and customize a blog, create from a template, or you can create a new post, for example, and then simply navigate over here. This is your post header, and this is the section down here. All you would do is name your new post, add the information, then come down and add your blog down here. Now with your blog, you can also create your blog with the help of AI. Simply navigate over to AI tools and then come down and click on AI writer. And what I can do is I can either create a prompt from scratch to help me create content for my blog, or I can come down and choose these topics and then come down and generate text and use that text in my blog. So you can easily and quickly create content for your blog at scale and a lot quicker than manually creating it yourself. So AI helps you create the structure, the ideas, and helps you generate content quicker. Okay, so I'm gonna exit out of this and then navigate back over to blog. And you can see this is my draft post. So I'm gonna leave that for now. 
Again, this is where you would come back to to create content for your blog. Then below that we have online store. If we click here, we can simply go ahead and add an online store to our website. That's going to allow us to list products and sell products through our Zaro website. To do that, simply go ahead and click add store. And as you can see, that's going to add this store to our primary menu. I'm going to navigate back up to pages and navigation, and I'm going to move store next to services. Then if we click here, you can see we have a basic listing of our products. If we click on a product, nothing happens. But if we navigate over to manage products, we can manage these default products at the moment. For example, you can quickly go ahead and click on settings and you can play around with the page settings, SEO settings, and you can go ahead and edit the product. If I click on edit product, first you'd set up your store. So add your store name, then click continue, add your store country, and then the currency and then click continue. And that's going to take you to your store manager. Here you can add your products. Then down here you can add your payment information and you can choose from many different payment gateways. These are the different ways that you want to collect payments. And then you want to make sure that your company information is correct over here. On the left hand side, you can again see your different products. You can manage your products. You can manage categories. You can view and manage all your orders, appointments, and you can manage discounts down here. To add a product, all you'll do is click add products, choose the type of product. Is it physical? Is it a service? Is it an appointment, donation, or digital? I'm going to go ahead and click digital. And then here you'd upload the images of your products, add a title, subtitle, information like a ribbon. These are tags. And then a description down here, a product description, prices. You can track quantity if you like. You can add categories. And then for me, because I added digital product, I can add the file that the customer can download after they've made this purchase. Okay, so that's a brief introduction to the online store. As you can see, it's extremely easy to navigate and use. So what we're going to do is navigate back over to edit website, and that's going to take us back to our website. Now, if we navigate over to the left hand side again, like I mentioned, we have AI tools. This is where we can access the AI writer. Like we talked about before, this is going to help you create content for your website. And then up above, we can also create a logo in minutes using the logo maker. This allows you to quickly create a unique logo for your business if you currently do not have one. Then down below, we have the AI heat map. This is a tool that allows you to accurately predict how visitors on your website are navigating through your website and what you need to focus on in order to ultimately drive more business. Then below tools, we also have analytics. If we click here, that's going to take you to the analytics of your website. So you can see form submissions. You can play around with the SEO of your website, analytics in terms of visitor activity on your website, integrations and more. So what I'm going to do is exit out of this and then navigate over to languages. If we click here, what you can do is you can add multiple languages to your website. And as you can see, all you need to do is select a different language for your website. And the new languages will duplicate the content that's already existing on your website. And it's important to note that you want to add additional languages after you've finished creating the content on your website pages. Then what you would do is go ahead and translate and edit the new content for that language. For example, if we navigate up here and select the language, I could select Espanol. And up here you can see I'm currently editing the Spanish version of this website. All I would do now is change the content, translate the content, into Spanish. Now, unfortunately, Zyro does not offer this translation automatically. You do have to do this manually. And then if we navigate down further, we have settings. Here we have general settings. You can manage your integrations. If you've connected your website to a CRM, project management tool, email marketing tool, or anything else. And then your analytics, SEO, and then form submissions, and then your media library. Now, when you're ready to go live, what you want to do is first click on preview and preview your website, your different website pages, and then go live. Now, in order to go live, you will need to upgrade to a paid plan. And remember, you do have a 30 day money back guarantee, meaning if you do not like using this Zyro platform to build your small business website, then you can always get your money refunded within those first 30 days. If you decide that Zyro is not for you. Again, you can make sure all the elements and sections on your website pages are responsive across devices. And you can see when each of your changes are automatically saved. At the moment, we have auto save on. And you can also undo and redo different changes that you make on your website pages. Okay, so what we're going to do is navigate back. 
and then come down to Website Manager. If we navigate down the page, again, like I mentioned, if you want to make your website live, you do need to upgrade to a paid plan. And then over here, you can see we can select a domain. Now, remember, with each of the paid domains, you have a one year free domain, meaning you can choose a professional domain name to connect with your website. And then after one year, you just need to renew that domain name every year. And if you currently do not have a business email set up, you can also create and set up a business email directly inside of Xyro. Now to access all of Xyro's additional and complementary tools, what you want to do is simply navigate down your dashboard until you find this section here, Instantly Powerful Tools. Down here you can create your logo with a logo maker. You can also generate a business name if you don't have a business name with the help of AI. And down here we have the slogan generator. Again, this just helps you quickly create a compelling and engaging slogan for your website. Then we've talked about the AI writer to help you create content. Down here we have the AI heat map to help you optimize your website for conversions. And then there's more basic AI tools like the AI background remover. So remove the background from your images. These could be your product images and you want to remove the background of these. And then we have image resizer, AI image upscaler, AI blog title generator and more down here. And remember, you have access to all of these tools with either of the two paid Zaro plans. And like I mentioned earlier, Zaro is incredibly easy to use, not just for building your website, but navigating through all the different tools and areas within Zaro. So again, you can jump over to your subscription plan, you can manage your domain, and you can manage your business emails here. You can simply go ahead and edit your website up here and then we have notifications and then your profile over here that you can customize the way that you like. However, that is everything we wanted to cover in this complete Zaro tutorial for beginners helping you create a small business website completely by yourself using Zaro. This is one of my top website builders that I would recommend to small businesses. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Zyro tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about Zyro, about building a website or using their tools, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.